So the type of scene or nil into type of scene or nil into YouTube, I come up with thigh gap. What I in day? People want to know what scene's eating thigh gap. Let's have a look at Cena's Instagram page. Now I'm going to give Cena a, a follow because some of the shit she posted was pretty funny, pretty cool. Uh, let's go down to a couple of shots here. We have a Cena talking about growing up, seeing other women as competition. This is some good shit. This is some good shit. So I'll give, always give a Cena some harsh criticisms and I'll do it again today in this video because it's good stuff. Uh, she talks about how she... Uh, her friend took some photos, obviously talented, and as soon as says, I wasn't, wish she wasn't wearing a mask. I love this dress, for it makes me feel like a fairy. What was captured was, what wasn't captured was the long walks we had sitting on the beach, long talks, waiting for golden hour lighting. That's real. This image is contrived beauty, not real. This is, this is getting good stuff. Uh, so some funny ones I read down here. Uh, some of the scenes, sort of classic photos, ones who she got named for herself on social media. This one here, she's smiling. Not real. Acne. Insecure. Hated modeling. Read more at cinanil.com. This is pretty good stuff. So, as soon as she's going to quit YouTube, uh, I'd say that's a bad idea. Again, not real life. I didn't pay for the dress. Took countless photos trying to look hot for Instagram. The formal made me feel incredibly alone. Behind the image. <laughs> Yeah, but this is what Cena could do. It's what you could do, Quinny. You could do behind the image videos, real caption edit. I had acne here. This is a lot of face paint. I was smiling because I thought it looked good. Nothing about this is real. Happiness based on it says asthmatics. It should be aesthetics will suffocate your potential without here on earth. So I think this is some good shit here. And let's go on here. That one suddenly just changed that. It's some good stuff. This is, good stuff. This, is, this is probably my favorite. Not real life. Took over 100 in similar poses trying to make my stomach look good. Would have hardly eaten that day. Would have yelled at my little sister to keep taking them until I was somewhat proud of this. Yep, to totally toe goals. Uh, this, is good. this is good stuff. So hats off to Asina for telling it like it is. And there's another one. Where was that one? I've read before. Paid to post not real life. <laughs> So my tip to the scene would be keep this up, but don't do not do YouTube. Do YouTube, but do behind the images, yeah, behind the image videos, man. Because websites people don't really do websites. Videos and YouTube is what you want to do. Cena, keep banging them out one a day. I talk about five different photos. Take you three or four minutes to, to edit and talk about it, voiceover. It's gonna be big, man. It's gonna be fucking big on YouTube. The only thing that made me feel that good day was this photo. How deeply depressing. Uh, that's what a lot of people. People don't understand is what goes on behind the scenes. So I really hats off to uh, to Asina for for doing this. Now I call her Queenie. That's just uh, having a bit of fun there. But I'd say if she wants to be the queen of truth, then this is a good way to go about it. Not real life. Paid to promote both the jeans and top. <laughs> There's one more. There's another really funny one. Oh, this one here was good. Paid dollars for this photo. Would not wear otherwise. <laughs> That's probably the best thing I've read on Instagram from that sort of uh, modeling sort of scene. This is what I like to call a perfectly candid, contrived shot. Nothing is candid about this. While yes, going for morning jog and ocean swim before school was fun, I felt the strong desire to pose with my fires just apart. Thigh gap, boobs pushed up, uh, double padding top, and face away because obviously my body is my most likable asset. I like this photo for my efforts to convince you that I'm really, really hot. You know? It's really good shit, man. It's done really, really well. Another one, not real life. The only reason we went to the beach this morning was to shoot bikinis because this company paid me. <laughs> Imagine if all models did this sort of shit. So that's what I'd tell us, you know, don't take videos off, just do videos behind the image. Yet another photo taken purely to promote my 16-year-old body. This was my whole identity at that time. This was so limiting. It made me feel incredibly insecure. It's, it's full on, man, what, uh, what we do in society with image and stuff like that. So, I'll definitely, you know, think about stuff like this. Exams are over. Um, totally fool them. Distract the viewer. Any girl with a lot of followers promoting a bikini brand is paid. I would say 99% of the time. So this is some good stuff. I've seen a good work, mate. But I would say, yeah, do your uh, behind the image, uh, behind the image YouTube videos. That could be huge. That will be, not could, that will be huge. That will be fucking huge. So get on it, mate. Get on it.
So give this video a thumbs up or share, whatever, just share a comment, do a dislike, like the video, whatever the fuck you do. Do something on this video to show us that you want to see Asina create viral celebrity construct videos where she just fucking breaks apart all the bullshit out there. I don't think anyone right now has the abilities to do that, but Asina does because she can see what's going on, she's got that desire and she's got a bit of audience there. So imagine she puts all three together, the desire to fucking expose all the bullshit, has the audience, has the background. This is, could be fucking, this could be like beyond, mate. This could be on. So give some Asina some support. Backer, man. Backer for this, because this is powerful shit. Fucking powerful.